Hello there, my name is Anika Kai and I am back again with another video for you guys and today I'm going to be talking all about my skincare empties. Some of them are new, some of them are tried and true staples and I'm going to be showing you all of them today. To find out what I have been completely running through, keep watching. As a makeup artist and a makeup wearer, I need something that's going to remove my makeup not strip my skin and be fragrance free so two that i found that i completely finished and would absolutely repurchase again are the glossier milky jelly cleanser and the aloe enzyme facial cleanser these two i love dearly i use them to double cleanse i'll start with the jelly cleanser and finish with the enzyme cleanser neither of them strip my skin of its natural barrier and they do a great job at removing makeup what I love particularly about the Milky Jelly Cleanser is that you can use it as a cleansing balm with dry hands and then add a tiny bit of water to create that emollient slip that's going to really get rid of all the extra dirt and grime on your skin. As for the Enzyme Facial Cleanser, this one has pineapple enzymes that lightly exfoliate the skin to reveal a fresher, brighter complexion without stripping it that helps the rest of your products sink in better. Next in the skincare process, I have my essence. So this is the Time Revolution Fermented Essence. It's a very watery like substance that you pat on your face after cleansing and it just gives instant hydration, instant replenish, especially if you use maybe a harsher cleanser, something that was a little more stripping. This restores the moisture balance right back and it makes anything you put on top of it absorb deeper into the skin. I got this one at Marshalls, but they sell it on Amazon, online. The other one that I like that is pretty similar but more of a richer texture is the Corsix Snail Mucin. I use these interchangeably. In the summer, I prefer this one because it's a little more lightweight. And in the winter, I grab the Snail Mucin. I threw away that bottle of the Snail Mucin, but that one was also empty and I've repurchased several times. Truthfully, I don't know where I would be without salicylic acid. My skin is easily congested. My pores are super tight. Wearing makeup, if I don't cleanse it off properly, instant breakout. This has saved me. On a day where I'm wearing makeup, I cleanse my skin, double cleanse, and then I use this toner. I use a bit of this on a cotton round and just slightly exfoliate my skin. It gets rid of any lingering makeup, dirt, grime, sweat, and gives your pores a fresh start. It's almost like a bulldozer. It goes through the pores and just gets everything out. It can be a little bit drying, so if you are starting out with, I would use it maybe once a day at night. As your skin builds up that tolerance, you can use it twice a day. I really made this video to talk about this one single product. This is Namesake's Moisturizer. It's a daily moisturizer with enzymes in it that gently exfoliate the skin. Beautiful under makeup. If your skin is dry, tight, textured, this in one application, is going to change the game for you. This moisturizer was formulated by a mother-daughter duo, dermatologist tested. It works on every type of skin. Very lightweight, but also deeply moisturizing. It's formulated with melanin skin and mind, and it is truly a magic hero product. I recommend this to everyone for everything. I ran through this so fast. This I had in my kit. I'm obsessed with this product. Completely empty, nothing left. I will buy two, three of these at a time. Please run out and get it. It is sold in 13 Loon and online. Their name is Namesake and I, I can't speak highly enough of this product. You're not truly clean unless you swipe with some micellar water after you wash your face. Obviously this is not finished, but it will be very shortly. This is an honorable mention by Denver Micellar Water. This is the only one I get. I use it at home, I use it in my kit, I use it on everybody. It has never caused an issue. And I dare you to use micellar water after you've cleansed your face and you'll be surprised at how much comes up on a cotton round. It's amazing at removing long wear makeup, mascara, eyeliner, lash glue. This is just a must have. I use it sometimes too when I don't want to wash my face with a soap, but I do want to cleanse it. So after I wake up in the morning, a little bit of this on a cotton round is all you need. It was developed for people in places with really hard water, water that you wouldn't want to use on your skin or on your face. You don't need to rinse after it. 
although sometimes I do I just want to feel that freshness of water on my face but this removes face and eye makeup if you ever have to clean up any eyeliner it's great on a q-tip it's just one of those things that once you have it you'll never want to be without it thanks again for watching I appreciate you coming back to my channel and if you are interested in any more skincare videos let me know in the comments below Please share, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!